Let's see if the ISP knows anything that's on its side. The other thing I need to do is remember how I was tr like doing the trace routes. So I, I can identify where the break is. But my, I've, I've had in, my reliable internet for a while. So I didn't have to do that. So there's well there's several things going on. We kind of need the I kind of need the menu to turn on and off, and we need to display the primary boons there when selected. So our model, I guess, is going to have to have like a current primary menu. I copied that, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Syntax. All right. So we actually don't. We this is these buttons are still. Wait. Okay, I need to do some dumb investigation here. Yeah, okay. You need to be actually moved over, not just padded out. Ah, uh, no, actually, when the menu is open, it might actually be fine to block that out. Although, that could be a way to close it. We don't need to be able to click those when the menu's open, though. So, this is... So right now, this is always in front. What do we what do we do for an attribute? When there's nothing there, it's an element. Adding zero. <laughs> oh. Also, huh? You can just scale things. Well, I don't actually think I want to scale these icons. That's probably just as well.
Okay. Now, they don't, they give an example of using that. No, they don't give an example of what to do when it's not there. I guess there's always list operations. But I can't just do head. Unless I have like a function that takes to their list and conditionally adds it. We do have model. Okay, now I need, an, I need an event for you. Oh, now you see, that was select primary boon. Well, select slot. And we should have a nothing somewhere. Boon icon. Yeah, we didn't end up using that elsewhere. But you don't have a slot right now. Should a boon icon maybe just take a message? Boon icon, you've got a slot. Unhandled message. This is just, probably eventually want this to toggle. And we want you, hmm. I want you to close it. Blair. Okay, that works. We have no representation here, but. And, oh, and things to do here should deselect. It's like I haven't forced it in the chart. Because it's sometimes interesting for um, kind of weird what if stuff. Maybe I should just do that at the select boon level.
This all derives from active traits, which I guess we could we're gonna update we're gonna update model anyway. <clears throat> but this is just dealing with IDs. We would need to what? We need to look up the information. Now you see back here, we know what slot we picked. So we could just say deselect all by slot. It seems like the thing we could boot to uh, traits. And layout, trait status, boon status. Calculate active slots. Our excluded stuff. Um, this would go oh, alternately if we just have an all traits for a slot, which we used to. And it's like, oh, we're going to do that differently. You can just say deactivate those. Okay, boons for slot. In this case, we just want the IDs, though. But everything else is list trait. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll need this for something else. All right, so gods, what do we do? We want each of their basic boons. There's other things that should have slots. We want oh, you need to do something. Uh, list dot concat map. So this is not just closed. <laughs> Active traits. Um, this is going to be some kind of set dot difference. Which way does it go? Keeps values that do not appear in the second set.
Set dot difference. Oh, is it just diff? Okay. Oh, there has to be a set. Okay. And then Hmm. It might be convenient to remember these. Then again, we also want it to reflect changes down here, so. Actually, this is likely to mess up our layout again. Checkpoint. So, what do what do we want here? <clears throat> this is slot icon. You are getting a model. You are getting a slot. We have to, we want to search. We need the intersection of traits in a slot and the active traits. So now we're needing this twice. Well, we're going to have to look up the... Actually, we need, we need the trait data because we're going to need the icon. So slot icon, uh, boon icon, blah, 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 blah. So you're going to... We're going to be, like, letting all the stuff now. Traits dot boons for slot. That'll be the actual boons. Model has the active list. So it's not just an intersect, because we then have to go back and find the one that matches. So that's everything for the slot. I guess we just take this and filter it down to its ID is inactive. Of course it's slot. No, we were, we were done slot. Set dot member model dot active traits. Let's see. Uh, in the slot menu, nothing will ever be excluded because this is potentially replace it and everything. 
don't think I have to worry about exclusions. This is not all straights for slot. This is a candidate. And we might need all the information from it. Actually, this is the nothing case. We have not had to use set here yet. No. Import, import, libraries, libraries. I don't know if we actually used set, but it's a, it's a really common setup. And how do we actually pass the set, huh? And actually, we passed the argument. And now we have the display issue. It might be that because the frame is larger, they actually shrunk the icons. So these were Okay, so those are all a solid 150. These things are all over the place, and mostly smaller. I must have been looking at the actual icons here. Feels like this might be a little bit over the edge. Maybe the frame is on top. But this is this is like the content. I guess this I guess we could make this an in front. That has a slightly more even frame. Uh, center X, center Y, center X, center Y. Oh. Maybe it's just being cut off differently. Because of the overlay. So what if we just swapped in the other frame? Okay, that does not in and of itself 
fix our alignment. And it could be a different size. 201 by 203. Primary. Two hundred one by two hundred six. So there's a little bit of the the Y there. Or maybe these are meant to go on top. Maybe we might need to do a little bit of alignment on all these icons. Yeah, it still needs to get bumped down a little bit. And these might need to get bumped down a little bit too, it's just you can't tell because it's all black. And what do we do for Discover to do that? Move down. Oh, you're a float. Well, that's a shame. Oh, we have a scaled. So you have to turn back into a float. All right, we went, no, we're, we're frame in front. So it's definitely going to be truncating it. I have to go back with some screenshots just because I don't feel like there should be as much black around the edge. Well, no. I guess there is. And then which way that goes is kind of a coin toss. Now, there's definitely space in the frame. Trait placeholder frame, slot frame. State backing. What sets the draw order? Is it the order we call this in? In which case, trait placeholder icons. Has unlocked wrath. Slot icon wrath. So this though it goes slots, frames. Trait UI add. Well,
trait scripts, trait trace scripts. Do you deal with frames? Trait frame ID. Combat menu trait tray. Get trait frame for trait. Rarity value. Screen anchors frames. Okay. Combat presentation, trace tra screen. I mean, that's the, the big thing. That might be the big overlay. Yeah, screen opened. So that's something a little bit different. So maybe tray tra is the big one. Well, I guess it'd be kind of the same anchors, wouldn't it? Uh, obstacle, invisible target. Yeah, you don't really deal with uh, with the icons themselves. Boon icon frame rarity. Boon icon frame blah. Boon icon frame common. Update trait number. Uh, okay, so that's activate trait. Trait frame ID. Yeah, I can't tell where they draw the the regular icon. Get trade icon. Set animation. Base boon frame. Trade anchor. Trade UI create component. Create text. Base boon frame, attach ID, trait frame, trait dot anchor ID, create screen obstacle, base boon icon. So if it's order of insertion, oh, trait icon overlay, trait frame ID. Maybe the, the frame is an overlay. Of course, there's other frame overlays that they use. But this is a table insert, so. Button dot trait. Okay. Trait active overlay, trait icon overlay. Table.insert IDs. What are, what are you doing? Close advance to, oh, okay. So you're a little bit of that stuff.
Let's destroy. Save IDs for later disposal. I, and let's trait UI again. So I don't know what order they're drawing. And it looks like once it's set up, it's, well, I haven't tested this under, under scaling. Well, that holds up okay. Ooh, and this, I probably need to, put, I need to do an upper limit on this. Then again, if it's that big, maybe you've got a really big screen, although we've got um, other aspect ratios. So if you've got a big tall screen, that might be, that might be a little bit much. Ooh, that does not hold up though. Where is the first one? Might be up a little bit too much. Oh yeah, we have the caching issues with this. So top might need to be a little bit lower. Of course, if this comes down to rounding issues, then I don't know. Because it was smaller. Hmm. It's just easier to see when it's big. And spacing. Hmm. This feels tighter than that. But it's pretty close. We don't even need spacing. Now, I, I did constant frames here. Uh, does that affect us? Might affect our start position a little bit. Right, because we're using we're using a size based roughly on this. Well, that, that's width and height. Hmm. So the size of this is affecting the size of the entire thing. And that affect the alignment of these? Maybe a little.
All right, so we have message, we have scaled, we have path desk. We might eventually want to be doing, if it's a, like a heroic or something. Or do we actually do, well, no, because I do have to do separate slot IDs here. So I can't just say, like, maybe trade. Unless I'm also passing the slot, in, the slot name or something. And then figuring it out from that. I could make a dummy trait for a slot. It would have the icon path. And then we have a place to, to do a frame, maybe, depending on how, if you're gonna, however you end up tagging frames. Uh, and actually, if, if it's a size change and we got this to work off of that, <clears throat> then we would we should see things moving around. Maybe like capital true and false. And really, that's probably like a frame ID or something. No, that didn't affect the following ones. So it's affecting the display of the thing. It well, I guess it, it mostly goes up. Oh, I don't have a way to. This does not toggle. I need a reset button too. Yeah, maybe it's just mostly bigger. Now, I feel like the draw order is a little bit different. Huh. These feel like the top is over, but that one feels like the bottom is over. So I guess it's just however they got drawn. <laughs> Whatever order you put them in. Oh man, I, if I did put this in my big monitor, yeah, that's 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 a, that's that's way too big. Uh, would our upper limit be its natural size? Or we just yeah, just just do that. These always confuse me because they're reversed. I think I might be able to get it with number here. Hmm. 
That's a limit, but it's not a big enough limit, honestly. Although I am seeing some um, layout scaling issues at that size, a little bit easier to see. I'm a little minorly concerned about like if you get the really like really big monitors. Of course, that means this stuff is going to be just wrong size too. Yeah, well, that's still pretty darn big. Okay, so that's getting a little bit more reasonable. It'll stay small. It'll kind of cap out. And I guess these are the things that we can call primary. <clears throat> uh, turn primary trait icons. Uh, turn tree. So these have the same icon, but we're not exercising any control over which of these we pick. Now, it might always be getting the basic one first. Then it'll actually come down to, like, we pick one of several weapons. Those are a little bit of special cases. <clears throat> oh, trinket display is already on there. Um, special weapons. Uh, this is actually in the chart. Uh, I think soul conditions is the only mirror thing that matters. That's mostly design issue, I think. Because I, I know one of Artemis's. See, we, we picked one that doesn't matter, and it's already locked out. Line formatting is fine detail. Text display? is kind of useless at several points right now. Uh, 
Or are we just going to roll on into, into Keepsake? Once we've got a little bit of stuff for that. I would say there were still spacing issues. Well, it doesn't, we don't have the ability to zoom it as big. Spacing seems too much right now. Oh, we actually removed spacing, didn't we? It was, it was it the large sizes that were actually off. Maybe that monitor just has better contrast. Why is that not having an effect? This is the column that goes top to bottom. Oh, no, because we missed tight. And you're not a pixel. That's better. All right, so that slot icon. I wonder if the uh, keepsake would roughly fit this pattern. But there's actually going to be no image for that. It's just a background. Now that would be if we had the if we had an actual keepsake there. Hmm. And it's a keepsake path. You're a frame, right? Interesting that you show up in frames, but it's not a frame. It's part of... You. Oh, where is our frame right now? Is it abo above or below? It's in front. Well, this suggests that uh, this is the same place as the primary boon stuff. 
which suggests that maybe these are always behind there. This is where we need a better thing for frame. No, I probably want to do inactive. Okay, so this is going to be HUD, primary boons. Keepsake backing. Okay, so that's going to need custom size. So active, you don't have slot information, and that would tell you what to, and I would give you active information. You could use it to pass a parameter down. Oh, you're going to need a scaling function. Probably, yes. And we might be able to tune these more, but it might us to get into custom stuff for all of the frames. Yep. Uh, so primary is never going to be active. Oop! No! 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 You want that? You're always going to be active. And a keepsake backing, 173 by 114. And while we're looking at it, screens, boon icon frames, common is technically 201 by 203.
All right, remove that parameter. So you just become this. And we have to pass all this down. So in slot <clears throat> is going to be common. Nothing is going to be, right now it's primary. And now actually, well, we will have an in slot eventually. We said to load that image. Yeah, there's no uh, no Demeter keepsake there. I, mean, I guess there kind of technically is. But I'm going to have to get an image in there to see if it lines up nice. I think this actually has to move down a little bit to kind of be, be below it. We only really care about, well, oh. So that's halfway linked in. I don't know if the display position is right. You don't have a keepsake. It almost feels a little bit smaller. I'd have to I'd have to get an image of that specific keepsake to be sure. So that was only, we only did that for the empty. So you'd kind of be the same thing. It should probably just be a special thing, but uh, so we think you need to go way down. No, wait, these are floats. Getting there, probably a little bit lower. I have no idea if I'm drawing these at the, the right size. That's too low. See, I'm drawing this thing with a fixed size. Are keepsakes just smaller? Uh, 
130, well, they're similar size, but they're also a little bit all over the place. Yeah, we need an entirely different menu for this. So I might need to just make this a different button entirely. All I can do right now is show that. And that should actually not display anything. So we're basically giving it a bogus image right now. So we're saying slot icon is da, 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 da. there will be a menu there, but it's going to be a different menu. So probably this just has to be get a get a be different all the way down. As annoying as that is. Well, where does that, where, where, where do we vary? Select slot still works. It's slot menu. I guess we could actually, we know what slot we're in. We could do a different thing there. Keepsake menu. Hmm. And that's worse because we're treating as a boon, I guess. Right, we, put, we basically put in fake boons for the keepsakes. And maybe boons need to be having some of their own frame information if we want to be doing heroics and things. I guess we're doing enough slot specific stuff that making it a type could be interesting. All right, that's compilable. Slot menu. Yeah, you were able to reuse the boon select thing. So your slot is assumed. You 
take God by type. So this is this is where we can go back to boons for slot. And I guess it's gonna look a little bit like the display got button. Oh, or is this just a list of boon icons? I can't do no message. <laughs> These are boons. Okay, so boon icon, message. Keepsake frame. <clears throat> Are we stuck on the same thing? Okay, we definitely compiled. Okay, we're stuck on the same thing. Oh, so what are you? Oh, uh, we lost. Oh, we don't need this. Boon. What are you in? Okay. Activate all the menus. Well, okay, we, 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 we gave it garbage. I'm surprised that it did that though. Now this has to be our display condition. Oh, equals just slot. The current primary menu has to equal to that and we have to be on. Slot keepsake. So really, this is like a subtest. And we actually had a keepsake menu now. Oop.
which displays the backing, which not ex not quite what we want, but so we'd actually have to have like a frame none. Also, this isn't we have not set this up to actually select things yet, because we're not passing an actual message. We set it up to do slot and god. But we're going to have an actual ID here. And our, our, yeah, our click event doesn't actually have the stuff in it, so we can't reuse that. Oh my, that that got rather ugly, didn't it? So we do need to close the menu. We need to, we do need to remove all of those. But then is it just select boon ID? I might need to I might need to put this stuff into select boon. Boons for slots. The number of times I'm typing this kind of tells me we might want it in new. Okay, all these still work. Hmm. These things should be excluded now. So I might have to look at how I'm doing that. Uh, keepsake derived exclusions. Let's see, can we get the menu? We basically have to have a no frame. I mean, does that work? I guess I could use the backing from the um, display case, but maybe that's too much. Because like these, well, these would have, I guess maybe these could scale up a little bit. If they were boons, we eventually want to kind of have some kind of frame for all the boons. So maybe that's not an issue.
Oh, what we can't do here is pick no boon. Kind of like there's no, well, eh, okay, so those can work as a toggle. Uh, we could do that as a toggle, maybe. Although I kind of also want to reset. Reset button. Uh, where was the reset button go? That corner, that corner. Pick a different corner so it never overlaps this stuff. I guess these are more the selections. Hmm. Hmm, I might need to take a little bit of account of this. It's going to be a little bit, and it's only varying, varying in height. What is that effective size? Well, actually, there's only where it's blocking. But we need to be 144. So it's like, yeah, 50%. Okay. I mean, that does fit. I'm going to do a, less, a little bit less than that. So 144, that's out to about 100, plus like half of that is padding. Maybe we just try there. Might be okay. And actually, do we need all of that? I think that, I think that was in case we had some some of the highlight graphics were up there. If we ever decided to use them. And that's almost 260. That could be a little bit smaller. I guess if you want to be really fancy, if the screen was wide, we wouldn't have to worry about that because it wouldn't be blocking the, the main main focus. Let me getting fancy though. Okay, so that was keepsakes. Uh, 
Could we maybe do... Oh. What do we do for blank? Because that's the, technically the text alt. Which we would want to be there. Maybe, oh, we also have a blank image. As the default, so maybe, well, actually that's, that's the slot name. This is gonna get overridden too if it's blank. But this actually goes down to boon icon. Yeah, path desk, <clears throat> input button. Well, it still has to be a button. It still has to have a size. Label. Okay, we can still click on it. I need some way to say select nothing or some other boon. And these still feel like they're a little bit big. But that's gonna require image specific information. And we don't necessarily have space up there when it tightens up. Yeah, so maybe some of that stuff could be used for the select menu if we want to get fancier with it. You're not gonna be anything in there. That's just the lock. That's just you. Button close. Just go some room reward.
Right, that screens. Which might have some stuff in it. Widgets. Those are like the in-world things. Exit, exit. Hmm. That's like an exit menu. Doesn't imply resetting anything. All right, that's textures, screens. Oh, those are like the big things. So these screens. Oh, respec. That would make sense. Let's see. So that highlighted like a big thing. I don't remember doing that, but maybe. That's how it actually plays out in the thing. All right, so this is just, oh, this is just GUI screens. Well, probably, I probably don't need to do a bunch of stuff from here. No, oh, I don't know if there's reroll. Don't know if we get to the highlight, but it could be interesting. All right, so this is once again going to be an overlay. It's just going to kind of be someplace else. There's going to be a single button. We don't need any information on this one. think. I guess we could only display it if there was some active traits. We're sending a message, so we have, it, it's going to fix the type of it.
not doing a lot of fancy positioning. Uh, this is going to be a line bottom and a line right. Okay, we do need to do a little bit of sizing. They made that for very high resolution. It'd be nice, it'd be sorta of nice to make that relative. I don't know if it's necessary. Okay, a little bit too small. So we're, we're, we, well, yeah, that button is wide enough, but we kind of need the tall part of it to be 30. To be 40-ish. Button does nothing. Oh, I guess you kind of go with this, huh? Maybe it should be view god. All right, select boon, which does all the derived stuff. Select boon, select boon. I mean, I guess you were alphabetic, but. Oh, hey, look at that. It's just active and then derived. Can't click too fast. Okay, I never, I never made a note for that. And I, I noticed that we had a Temporary. Mouse over. Is a decoration. So we're doing a full replacement here. Oh, this is only attributes? 
I guess it would be an in front. But maybe list decoration. Decorative, transparent alpha, Oop. move up, move down, rotate, scale. Hmm. Oh, that's decoration. Right, that suggests that these things can be. Whereas, a gay, um, even even anything, could not be. Oh, it takes a list. List attribute never, list decoration is, oh, it's an attribute never, never. Oh, so, it, so these can't send messages. List of decoration. List of attributes. See, list of type, list, attribute, never. A decoration is a never, never. Never, never land. But I guess when you see decorative, it's leaking the internal type. Okay, so yes, you cannot replace a graphic with a built-in mouse over handler. We would have to do mouse enter and mouse leave manually to do that. Okay. Oh, I need that to respond to resizes, too. And I'm probably getting to the point where I can drop this frame. I'm not really doing any, any big image sizing stuff, too. And how easy is it dropped internal names? I'm afraid ID is going to be all over the place. Um, I 
Okay, so that's that's a line. I guess this is almost where I should be getting into other text display stuff. Well, you know what? Let's leave you alone for now. Deal with that with our text sizing. And just call that enough for a day. That's what I'm usually on. Next scheduled time would be Saturday morning. I might want to work on in the evenings. I might also want to make some progress in Astro Year since there's a limited time event thing going on. And that's it. Thanks for the for some subscribers and maybe next time.